How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy substitute to live in L.A. and call themselves Pittsburgh Dad, because that Pittsburgh Dad was born in West Virginia. I was born in Allegheny County in McGee Hospital. And hello to my Yinzer buddy from Belgab, who knows I speak the truth, because he too comes from the mighty Berg. Anyway, I want to talk about a certain troll, and how he could be a masturbator, oh, sorry, master troll, but he's not, because the only thing he has ever done is known how to flap his big mouth, be it in post online or be it on the telephone. And of course, I'm talking about that famous troll, Big Crapola, or Little Chris, as he's known to his friends and his enemies. Well, in the last couple of days, this idiot keeps inboxing me on Belgab. First of all, he kept, does it in all caps, which is screaming, which shows how stupid he is, because everybody knows you don't post in all caps. Only newbies do that. And he's certainly not a newbie, is he? And he's demanding, I demand that you tell me whether or not you own a gun. Well, I haven't got my new renewal packet. I renewed so a while ago, and I called him up today to ask an important question and say, hey, where's my renewal packet? There, It's on its way. I belong to the National Rifle Association. Well, little Chris insists that there's a law that requires me to tell him whether or not I own a firearm. So I did some checking on this. I talked to the DA's office. The woman there was clueless. I don't know if she ever did get back to me or not. There's no message on my machine. But while I was walking to the post office, I ran across a man who was talking to two of the DA's, and he had his inspector shield on his belt. And that was an inspector of San Francisco police. Now, having worked as an extra on the streets of San Francisco and been on the docket, on both sides in San Francisco, I know what the inspectors are. So I asked him a question. He looked at me, his eyes bugged out. You've got to be kidding me. I said, well, who's doing this? I said, some idiot online troll in San Diego. I don't know who he is. I don't know his real name. I don't know where he is, but he keeps sending me inboxes. He see me like emails? I said, yeah, kind of. He said, no, there's no requirement under the law that you have to tell someone whether you own a gun? And I said, well, is it not none of his business? He said, nope. It's none of his business whether you have firearms or not. So that's one corroborating place. Then I called the National Rifle Association, not rifle, excuse me, sometimes I slur my words, called the NRA itself, their headquarters, and talked to someone there, and they said, you've got to be kidding. I said, that is a nutcase keeps demanding, and he sent me several, several inboxes on Belgab that I tell him whether or not I own a firearm. She said, well, first of all, it's your right to own a firearm. Uh, and we talked about the restrictions, how you can't own a firearm or can. But secondly, there is no law. The only people you have to, and that's what the policeman told me to, the inspector, tell is law enforcement. Now, when you register a weapon, depending, uh, I think certain, we as I remember, certain weapons before 1895 are considered collector's items. They're not really considered firearms, except maybe in crazy California. They probably consider a paperclip gun a firearm. So, um, I'm not required to tell anybody but law enforcement whether I would or wouldn't or do or don't own a gun, and I'm not going to do it here. It's none of Big Crapola's, Little Chris's business. It's nobody else save mine. And if I did have a gun, I would be stupid enough to divulge it. I've divulged enough personal information. So, Little Chris, take your typewriter, take your keyboard, whatever it is, and put it where the sun don't shine and go to hell. Because I'm not going to tell you anything. You're a troll. That's all you are, that's all you were, and that's all you will ever be. You're a troll and a troll loser. And all you have to do, 
24 hours a day is nothing better than to harass people. You supposedly have a business. You probably troll your customers and ask them do they have a gun. So somebody once said, that's the name of that tune. I think it was Beretta. And little Chris, I'm playing a tune for you. It's called So Long and Goodbye and Shut the Hell Up. This is George Send to the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great evening. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.